Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to evaluate this integral using something called integration by parts. So the formula for integration by parts is the following. So if we have the integral of u dv, this is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So typically when you're using integration by parts, um, you want to pick your u and your dv. And your u, you have to be able to differentiate it. And your dv, you have to be able to integrate it. Typically, you pick a u where like the derivative is simpler. So exa for example, in this case, if we let u be equal to e to the x, its derivative is e to the x. That is not simpler. <laughs> so we're going to go with u equals x. So we'll let u equal x. And then dv is the other part. So it's e to the x. And it's really important to write down the dx as well. So the dx always goes with the dv part. So it's the rest of it. So this is your dv, this whole thing here. And this whole thing here is your u. OK, so now we need to compute du. So du is just the derivative of x. So du is equal to dx. And to compute v, we simply integrate. So integrating dv, we get v. And integrating e to the x, we just get e to the x. And don't worry uh, about the plus c in these problems. All right, let's go ahead and use the formula right here, like right underneath it so you see it. So it's going to be uv, so uv, so x e to the x, right, u times v, x e to the x. It takes a little bit of practice when you first do it. Always write the formula down, right, very useful. Minus the integral of v du, so it's v times du. So the integral of e to the x, and then du is just dx. Okay, so this is equal to x e to the x, and the integral of e to the x is e to the x. So now we have minus e to the x, and let's not forget our constant of integration, capital C. And so that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.